on. So, this is LeBlanc, huh? So, this is LeBlanc? Huh. Looks like we're gonna have to be on our best behavior. LeBlanc? Like the author Maurice LeBlanc? I mean, I remember a novel or a book about it, but... Ugh, what was it? Mm. <sighs> no matter. <sighs> Alright then. Best behavior, everyone. Don't worry, Noct. We'll do our best. Alright. After all, we don't want to freak anyone out. So, we'll follow your lead, Nocturne. Everyone ready? We'll be on our best behavior, Nocturne. Alright then. Let's head inside the cafe. The bus sped down the wrong side of the street, leaving passengers trapped on board. It was stopped, but... It was <sighs> Damn millennials. Oh, what's the world coming to? Ada Cross is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearls. Oh, it's just a regular cafe. Looks like we'll be fine. Guess we're okay, everyone. I guess, but are you sure I shouldn't just hide in Lara's backpack? I think we're going to be okay now, V. I think we're in the clear. Well, if you say so. Excuse me, but... Are you Sojiro Sakura? Oh, that's today. Didn't recognize you at first. I tend to forget a face if it's not attached to a pretty lady. It's okay. <laughs> no need. I get that a lot. You're lucky you're in this alley. It's not likely anyone will crash into you. I don't follow. You know all these weird rampage accidents. I guess I don't really care. <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon. Uh... Four hours, and all they bought was a cup of coffee. I guess business is running slow in this joint, huh? Huh. Well, it looks like just the regular cafe was slow business. Guess we'll just have to watch over this guy. Uh, yeah. I guess so. So, you're the punk they sent over? Yeah, my name's Ren. Thanks for helping me out. You look clean. I admit I was wondering what kind of gangster I'd get saddled with. I'm Sojuro Sakura. Oh. I'm Allison Quinn. But call me Quinn. Allison Quinn? Never mind. And I'm BJK. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, I'm Lara Sunrise Bean. It's nice to meet you. And I'm V. It's wonderful to meet you as well. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Sakura. My name is Nocturne. And my name is Abade. It's nice to meet you, good sir. And my name is Chirithi. It's very nice to meet you. One of my regulars is friends with your parents and sets this up for you. But whatever. Come on, this way. This is your room. I've got some sheets, but not much else laying around. I'll let you take care of the rest of the cleaning yourself. I uh, heard about what happened. Grievous bodily harm. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? <laughs> about what happened? What do you mean, Mr. Sakura? That's wrong. I didn't. I just... I don't want to hear any justifications. I won't ask you about it, just don't pull me into anything. I know you got thrown out of your last high school after you had your little run-in with the cops and ended up with a record. Once you got convicted, the court ordered you to transfer out here, which your parents were more than happy to agree to. Ha. Huh. So, you're a pain in the ass. Guess they wanted to get rid of you for causing trouble. Oh my! That's just terrible. I mean, this boy doesn't deserve to live in this criminal life. That... that's just... terrible! I have to agree with you. After all, this is his life. Why did it just have to be stolen like that? Just try to keep quiet about it out front. I don't want you depressing my customers. If you can manage to keep your nose out of trouble for the next 12 months, they'll pull you off probation. 
Yeah, when the cops are keeping tabs on you. They got you on a leash till next spring. I put my neck on the line and told him I'd keep you for a year. You gotta go to Shujin tomorrow. Huh? I'll take you over to Shujin Academy. You can get introduced to your teachers. People in this area aren't welcoming the newcomers. Don't expect them to be friendly. Okay. Hmm. I'm heading home once I'm finished closing up the cafe. Don't do anything stupid when you're here by yourself. I'll throw you to the curb if you cause trouble. Don't worry, Mr. Sakura. We won't cause any trouble. There's no way that could be possible. Wow, that... That's rough. Very rough. Looks like we need to help him out. And hopefully not get into any more trouble in the process. <sighs> I don't know. But let's do our best to not cause trouble. Okay, everyone? Let's get ready to get to sleep. Let's set up for tonight, Quinn. Alright, let's settle in. Is it Oyster? I don't know. Huh? Isn't this the app that I deleted? Huh? Didn't I just delete this app? Yeah, you did. So, why is it back on your phone? Huh? Didn't I... Delete that? What's going on? What's happening to me? V, where are we? Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Wait a minute. Velvet room? Velvet room? I've never heard of this place before. Me neither. I wonder what it is. This place rests on the line between dreams and reality. I am Igor. I serve this place as its master. I must admit I'm surprised. This room reflects the state of the occupant's heart. Quite telling that it would reveal itself to you as a prison. Therefore, you must be shackled by something far greater. But continue down the path you're on and you will surely meet with ruin. Back off, inmate! You are in the presence of our master. <laughs> Whoa! Easy there! Who are these children? Are they... wardens? Whoa there! Take it easy! Who are you two? Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! 
try and struggle as hard as you like. The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Oh well, Igor. If you say so. I see. Now I understand. So, these girls are going to help us? That's quite nice. I guess. <laughs> Worry not, my boy. There is a way to challenge the fate you received. Though ours is the only one. Our paths will cross again soon. But until that time, you must return to the world you came from. <sighs> For once, I can help change fate itself. <laughs>